Oh, now I can do that. Now I have a pinch, this knee should be in the groin, right? This groin is affected. You miss and he's spiking back, then this knee automatically becomes a spike in the groin. But there's a way to knee. That's the way to knee. Get that knee in. Up and under, right? What I also do is when I throw somebody down, before I knee strike, I throw the head open by squeezing the neck, throw open, and then get this in. It's gonna be left and right knee. And you wanna pull them against the shot, right? So when you open, you create distance, you load up this knee. Now, I don't do this, boom. I do that. Place your feet down. This is not combat sport, right? This is. Walking violent. Yes, right? I saw a lot, see a lot of people doing this. Arms are passive. You just hold the arm like you would hug your girlfriend, right? I wanted to squeeze, close it down, open up. Control and then get this in. And close down again. So open, control, knee. Close down. See that? So you want to open up, knee and pull them against your knee. So you get glitching the effect. Other side. If you can control this individual, difficult, you don't knee him. Now he will fight against you. But if I give a solid knee from control, now I can do that. Right? Blitz through him. Find control. Don't open up too much. Only when you strike, right? When I do this, get it back. I want to plant my feet down. If I do this, I lose him. Plus, I do that, and I do this all the time. It's not my intention. I'm not planning to knee him 50 times. I want to have one knee so I can break his base. This is just a conditioning drill, right? The tool development drill, but also how you, in this case, look around. Oh, sorry. Okay, sorry. This is dynamic. So this, Allows you to have base scan environment, sorry. Okay, okay. So that's why it's important. Look around. This other side. That knee is just to finish it quickly, right? Because you don't fight one on one. So I can stand there, clinch, tight clinch, or find all good, all tool development. But on the street, I want to get him down because there's always more than one. So what you can do now is. In real life, if you ended up here, I try to get this base. What I want now is just five, six knees, and then you wreck it to the floor. Because if you hit your knee correct, you probably can get something of a response like this. Now you can snatch it, <coughs> just wreck him down. Just a drill for you guys. So from this position, I get. <coughs> That's it. And then the other side. Bring him around. How does it feel? Just go from this. Yes. Don't have yes. beautiful think balance, think hard knees. Trust me, when you have good knees breaking the base in the knee or in the groin, sorry, then you will get this energy. And snatching becomes easy. What if this is difficult? Maybe the knees to the groin are not so effective because he has on the influence of drugs or something. Same shit applies. I just go as hard as I can. But when I want to snatch him down, instead of only going down now, I think more circle. I get this in. See? Then you'll see you'll go down. Think in circles. 
Yes, if you see he's fighting forward, then this is easy. Yes, to get more circular motion in. Not this him, jongen. Hartstikke mooi. You can use environment in your favor. What we just did, right? You smack him against the concrete or a corner of a wall. So this drill, what I want now, start a little bit from a wall. I get some hard knees in. From this position where you see him bending over, I open the gate, smash him against the wall. Boom, like that. Again, and then go another one. Pretty. Give me two more then. Yes? Okay? Yeah. So the knees. Let's keep two, let's keep a two-two. Clinch, two knees. Again. Yes. Yeah. Yeah.